Is it better to retire on the Virginia coast or the Carolina coasts? Retiring on either the Virginia coast or the Carolina coasts is like choosing between a fine Bordeaux and a robust Napa Valley Cabernet. Both excellent choices, but with a distinct palette of flavors. Living on the Virginia coast, Virginia brings a lot to the table with its rich history and proximity to the nation's capital. If you're big into American history, settling down in places like Williamsburg or even closer to Norfolk gives you a front row seat to the birthplace of our nation. You'll find environments that are a fusion of moderate Southern charm and East Coast bustle. Virginia Beach itself is something of a headline act. It attracts tourists, yes, but who says it's a bad thing to live where others vacation? The boardwalk, the, well, beach, and a solid array of seafood joints ensure you don't get bored quickly. And one must consider healthcare options which are pretty decent around these parts. However, the cost can be a bit steeper, and Virginia does experience the full brunt of the seasons, a consideration if you're not a fan of winter. Settling on the Carolina Coasts Moving down the coastline, the Carolinas, let's not forget we're talking two states here, offer a smorgasbord of living environments. From the outer banks of North Carolina to the sun-soaked isles of South Carolina, you're looking at a stretch that covers different communities with varying vibes and climates. North Carolina is a big hit with retirees who like a laid-back lifestyle but still want seasons, though milder compared to Virginia. The Outer Banks, while somewhat vulnerable to storms, are adored for their natural beauty and serene oceanside living. South Carolina, meanwhile, is practically synonymous with sweet tea retirement living. Places like Charleston and its surroundings offer warmth, figuratively and literally, culture and traditional Southern hospitality, not to mention some exceptional golfing if that's your swing. But let's talk specifics. Zoning in on a place like Myrtle Beach means prime golf courses, an infinite strand of beach, and a not-too-shabby cost of living. Sure, it's touristy, but beyond the high-rises and summertime buzz, there's a community with all the amenities you'd expect. What's right for you? Ultimately, it boils down to what's on your retirement bucket list. Virginia has its virtues, steeped in history with a touch of the cosmopolitan. The Carolinas flirt with the warmer weather, presumably longer beach seasons, and potentially a more relaxed pace of life. Which way would I lean here in Portland, Oregon? Those Carolina coasts, with their signature blend of sun, sand, and southern comfort, seem awfully tempting. Could just be the muggy gray winters talking. Now remember, retirement isn't just about kicking back with a pina colada on the porch, although that is a pretty sweet image. It's about community, cost of living, health care, accessibility, and sometimes being close enough to family without them being able to pop by unannounced. In the end, visit both. Take in the views, eat the food, talk to the locals, and assume the mantle of a retiree for a week or two. Feel out which coast feels like the future you've always imagined. After all, retiring is about crafting that second act in life's play, and you want to make sure it's set on the perfect stage.